In this video, we're going to cover getting up and running with a demo or trial version of FMSMS. To get started, we'll go over to the fmsms.com website and click on the download link, which takes us to the download page, and then we'll click the download button to save a copy of the trial version to our computer. This will be saved in your um, downloads folder or wherever you've got your download set to save. It's important that you also set up an account with one of the SMS gateways I shall need this to use the trial version or any version of FMSMS. FMSMS supports over 50 SMS gateways around the world. Most of these SMS gateways can be used in most countries as they will deliver to all numbers around the world. However, some gateways are only support particular country numbers. For example, in North America, you'll need to use one of the SMS gateways listed under the USA America section here. Most of these SMS gateways also offer a trial account, so you can tr test out FMSMS using a trial account without having to spend any money. Okay, let's get started. Let's go to my um, trial version that's been downloaded, and you'll see inside the folder is the license agreement, a readme file with some important information, and the actual trial version of FMSMS itself. Let's double click on that to open it up, and when it opens up, it prompts us to enter some uh, important details to help set up the trial version correctly. So go ahead and enter your details and your mobile number. When entering your mobile number, it's important that you enter it without any country code or prefix numbers. Simply enter it as you would dial it in your own home city or country. You can start typing your country name or you can choose it from the drop down menu. When you're finished and verified that your details are correct, click the Continue button. What this has done is set up a dummy contact for you in the contact section and a sender record for you in the sender section. Not all SMS gateways can use this particular sender record, as some countries, such as North America, require you to use a virtual long number or short number when sending messages. The first thing you'll need to do is go to the account section in the trial version and create a new record. You'll need to create an account that represents the account with your particular SMS gateway. So let's give it a name. I'm going to call it FMSMS Trial Account and I'll just mention the name of the particular SMS gateway that I'll be using for this demonstration. I then need to select that particular SMS gateway from the list and enter my username and password. In this Gateway Notes field, you'll also be prompted to enter any other particular details that are required by the uh, specified SMS Gateway. Some SMS Gateways will require additional information or particular uh, keys to be entered in the Username and Password fields. You'll see all these details in the Gateway Notes field. In this case, I need to enter the two-letter country code in the Custom Text 1 field. So we'll enter that. If your particular SMS gateway supports the check-in of credits, a quick way to test that everything's set up correctly is to simply click the Check Credits button. If that works and it comes back with the balance of your account, you know everything was set up correctly. Now let's try sending a message. Let's jump over to the Contact section and go straight into the contact record that was created when you first opened the trial version. Let's click the New SMS button choose your particular account from the uh, drop-down list of accounts and you're ready to start typing your message or you can use one of our demo templates that come with the trial version. Okay, let's click the send message button and the message has been submitted to the gateway successfully and has just been received on my iPhone. To save you having to choose the account each time you send a message, you can go back to the account screen into the account details and click the set as default button and that will force that account to be the default account for any new messages that you create from that moment on. You can then explore the various sender IDs and sending bulk messages and um, check in the status of sent messages as well.